praying barefoot is is an issue okay in one hand like the whole prayer is according to the Kohanim in the Beta Midash. And the Kohanim in the Beta Midash, they had to be barefoot. If they would if they would not be barefoot, their work will be Pasul. Okay? But in the other hand, for our prayer, we have the the we have to make ourselves like we're standing in front of a king. So today unless you are like in a Saudi Arabia or something like that, you're not going in front of a king like barefoot, right? So that's what it says in the Alaha. If in your place where you are located, the custom is to go in front of a king or a judge or like someone in that thing, you know, uh, high position kind of a thing, barefoot. So then you can also pray barefoot. But if the custom is not, which is majority of the world, vast majority of the world, so you can't pray barefoot. Okay. Um, if you look in the Gemara Masechet Shabbat, and I think it's page Yud. So there, there's a whole discussion of like different rabbis that like one was like putting his coat to pray with and one was taking out his coat to pray with. One was like putting his like boots to pray with, one was taking his boots out to pray for, for his prayer. And like, and then the Gemara is explaining that there's like, there's two approaches within the prayer. One, it says, Ke'eved lifnei rabo, like a slave in front of his master. And one, it says, like in a time of like, like like a poor man that is standing on opening so it's like you have to ask for mercy so like you, you can't you can't you know go to collect uh, charity when you dress up and you have like honorable like clothing that you know doesn't fit mm -hmm. yeah so you have to to express your like that you are nothing that you like you don't you don't have honor you don't have position you like you so you take out your your boots your coat and you know, like like a poor man that is like you know they're poor and then, and then to to come like that to ask to ask Hashem whatever it is that you need. So there is like different approaches within the prayer. And you see there in the Gemara that different rabbis had different way how to relate to Hashem. So today generally we're trying to make everything that will be like you know like one like a main role for everybody, but. Always, the, when there is main road, there is also space within the side of the of this main road. You know, so the, the depends depends like uh, in many factors. But whatever it is that you do, yeah, you need to be conscious of why you're doing it. It's not just because I'm comfortable to be like that. Yeah, to to, to make it that it will be like meaningful for your relationship with Hashem, with the help of Hashem.